the culinary, going on content and all things gets a lot of home. And we gotta do that, we gotta do that so that it doesn't start talking about nailing things, all right. Happy New Year, January 2013. And I gotta say that if, if December, fourth quarter of December of 2012 was an indication what a year we're going to have. What a year this industry is going to have. Uh, knocking on the wood like I did last time. There you go. I want to remind you, new year, new stuff. And some of the old stuff, don't forget. you got to subscribe to the Daily Do. That's D-A-I-L. Well, you, you do it. Or you know what? Jason will put the URL down there. The Daily Do. Why? Because that they, they, they're always, look, they're not always right. You know, it might be, oh, this is what we heard. But the thing is, is you want to know what they heard. Look, a lot of times, it's, uh, they, let's say, you know, the people talk in absolutes. Oh, they never this. No, they always that. There's no absolutes. Sometimes something's wrong. Stop complaining about it. You're getting quick, instant information that you can use. Subscribe to Daily Do. That's your morning. Then, Van Etten's clippings, you know, and then Jason will put that down there too. If you're not reading that in the morning, you're going to be doing things throughout the day that you could have done better because what he's doing is, is they're, they're collecting all of the press releases and all the new stuff from all over the globe. And, you know, why reinvent the wheel if somebody else did something and this is how it worked? Doesn't it make sense to take a look at that? Well, that's what you get. So, and I've said it before over the years. Daily do. That's like um, uh, the the commentary section of the paper. What do they call that? The uh, uh, you know, with all of the columns, the columnists, and Van Etten's clippings. That's like uh, the reporting. You know, ba bing, ba bing, ba bing, and like that. So, remind you again. Get those. Uh, coming up, coming up. Digital signage expo. We are in the digital out-of-home industry. If you're watching this and you're not in the industry, I don't know why you're watching this. What's that industry? That's screen manufacturers. That's media players. That's field service organizations. That's content developers. We used to call them program producers. That's network operators. That's Quick food service, how they call it, quick service foods, you know, like the Wendy's and the, and, and the McDonald's. Uh, that's all of these. You can't walk down the street without being exposed to our industry. The Digital Signage Expo in Las Vegas, the end of February. Again, Jason will put the URL down here. I'll leave it there long enough. Make sure you go to the website. You'll see what's going on. End of February in Las Vegas. I, uh, you know, want to, you know, I, I said when I open every time. And I'm going to start the year with this again. Digital out of home. It's not going on content and all things digital out of home. Look, digital out of home. You see some guys on the street, straighten them out. When you go talk to the agency, straighten them out. You're digital, and they're in their mind. They're thinking, oh, that's the computer, that's the laptop, or the Mac, or the whatever, the iPad, and all of these things. No, no. We're digital place-based media. We're, we're in a fixed place where our screen is impacting on a big audience. We're not the opt-in telephone guy or iPad guy or a personal computer with the, did you see my banner ad guy? You know, we, we you know what I'm talking about. Digital place-based media. And since I say that, I'm gonna remind you also, if you're an ad-supported network, you already owe something to what's called DIPA, D-P-A-A, -A, the Digital Place-Based Advertising Association. Why do I say that? Look, my networks, we've been doing this for, since what, 1980-something, uh, long before it was digital. You know, we were still televisions. And uh, VHS, the big invention for us was VHS over beta. So we've been dealing with brands and agencies, but most of the digital out-of-home networks, the digital place-based networks, are within, let's say, since 2003. Well, you know what? You had a hard way to go if you started up in 03 and 04 and 05 because 
you had to sell to the agencies. You couldn't just call on Joe, the brand manager. And the agencies, they wanted a lot of data because, hey, they're getting paid for doing a job. You couldn't give them that data because you didn't really know what they wanted. And back then it was called OVAB. When that organization started, they, they went to the agencies. They spent the money and the time to go to the agencies and say, what is it that you need? How do you need to see it? And they put all that stuff together and they gave it to us. So even if you're brand new, you own something and you, know, you do take that for what it's worth and I'll give you their website. See, it's the beginning of the year, you get all the websites. That's really all I got. Uh, next month, DSE, get focused on it. There's a lot going on. The education programs, I can't stop talking about the education programs. I mean, why would you hire somebody off the street and say, okay, we're, we're digital out of home, and they look at you and go, yes, uh, what is that? You hire a guy because he can run a screwdriver, what? He's got the... We have so many thousands, literally tens of thousands of people now that have been trained and certified in, in, the, in the digital out of home industry that we can now be recruiting from that pool. But if you've got people in your organization, don't just say, oh, I'm the president, so I'm going to go to the big trade show. I'll go to DSE and I'll go to cocktail parties and shoot a little craps at the whatever hotel. You got to send your staff so they can go through the training programs, they get certified. And I'm going to tell you what, when they get back to the office, they're going to be, ooh, I learned something. And if they learn something, you're making money off it. All right, I can go on and on with this. And I won't. I'll come back at you pretty soon and talk about the Digital Science Federation. One thing, the elections are still open, and I think they're open until January 14th, and we'll put that URL on there. If you haven't voted, vote. Uh, we got some really top-notch people. And I'm not talking about big job titles. I'm talking about people who work. You know, and I'm not going to campaign for anybody. I'm not campaigning, but I'm just telling you. You got four people that are running for re-election, and you got some other people running for election of board, and every one of them knows our industry and is willing to work for our industry. So go to that URL and vote. You guys sound like last year when we were doing the other election anyway. That's it. That's all I got. I'm not going to take up any more of your time. Talk to you pretty soon about the Digital Science Federation. Goodbye, I'll say you'll see me next time. Goodbye.